Hello and welcome back to Project Sunlight. Yeah, you're getting me in a pretty boring action. I just wanted to check out a few new set things and let you guide me on doing something interesting like um, <laughs> looting books. I'm um, just just looking for um, advanced metal books. I think do I really no? intermediate, intermediate, not advanced. Metalworks, help me find it. Um, maybe I will make it to bring you to a little walk around in my base. And I've got this, got this, got this. Um, currently I'm in Rosewood. I've maybe I will have a visitor today. One of my oldest Steam friends, one of my best Steam friends. Um, I've been playing Project Summit with him a lot of times. Do I need the expert? No. And oh yeah, that's it. And maybe he will join the server later and help me testing my settings. That will be fine. But for my today's goal was just getting the Metalworks book and a few Metalworking monthly max that I don't have. Uh, that's why I'm taking a look to the CP market now. I usually should sneak, but I don't want to. I don't know why. CP markets are a good source for Metalworking max and a few other interesting max, but nothing here inside to get my current status is i'm living at lake Lynn, lake Liv, uh, however it is called um, i haven't crafted anything yet maybe i will start doing that in my next video um, i just wanted to give you a bit the um, status of um, how I am, maybe if you want to know how, what kind of game you're joining, so if you see how it is to, to loot and how it is to, to act, how the zombie settings are. The population is on, oh, I think it's on high. And my main goal is not to to manage uh, tons of zombies. My main goal on this playthrough is to build really everything. Um, Quite a lot of police cars here. Mm. Okay, heavy duty battery is not the point. One really interesting thing is that I am joined the game with um, low strength. I wanted to build the, um, the, the, the weight bench as soon as possible to correct this and I wanted to see if the weight, ba weight bench is really a good issue to a uh, possibility to to increase your strength I will do this maybe with my player or maybe with a guest player so to give them the possibility for some extra trade points A few guns. Oopsie. Come here, Mr. Policeman. I 
I think the weapons chamber must be something. Yeah, I think I checked the dead bodies for a piece. Anybody a key? Key? Oh, key. Yeah. Make it right, then you only have to do it once. Yeah, it would be great to, to test the weight bench. good stuff I'm not so yeah weapons usually I'm not the weapon guy but um, I've been playing around with um, weapons a few times and uh, well, it's not that useless I uh, thought so if I would f oh leg guards great maybe for a guest too and uh, armor is also useful Arm guard, I got them. Rio boots are good too. Walkie talkies too. Um, yeah, I'm interested in nine mils guns. Curse, um, um, you can. Yeah, I like the Beretta. Exactly. For sure, a Benelli is never a mistake. Um, what I'm also interested in is um, okay, that's the pistol too. This is for the Benelli, a few shotgun rounds. Um, it's a silencer for sure, but I'm not sure if I made it made it right. Maybe I made the wrong installation. The firefighter check, it will be interesting to see how good they work instead of the fire suit. Walkie talkies, okay. Got that, yeah, knife, yes. I wasn't sure if the silencers are already integrated. Oh, the rear shield. That's fine if you're using a um, um, pistols like the Beretta or, or um, um, small guns, then you can use um, shields too, and it gives you a bonus on your defense. That's very nice. Okay, so I'm finished here. I think there are no more interesting areas here. No. I just wanted to get some. Um, the metal um, book, the, 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 the metal work book, and a few mags. That's fine, I got this now. So I will take you back to my base and give you a little walk around so that you can see what I've done. What have I done? Yeah, this this Lake Lynn, Lake Liv, however this cold house is, it's a beautiful house. That's no question. But it's uh, always a bit strange for me. The rooms are small and it's high and it's... Um, if you really want to craft, then you cannot uh, play in a small house. That's impossible. You need a lot of place. Especially if you want to place your um, few items on the ground and don't want to leave everything in boxes. And if you need a few storage rooms, then you need a lot of place. And that's why that special house is not so good. What I like on the location is for sure that it has a well and that, that it has a lake and it, that it's very central. And it has got forest around so you, you can do foraging. That's all very nice. So I did a little foraging already to bring me on level close to four. So I used the catch box reset to find a wild beehive, what I've got already. So, but I did not do any big crafting things. I just built my house and built um, the only crafting thing that I made was 
um, building um, the saw book and that's all so in the next video if i'm not uh, making a team play video i will build a few things like the mine like the carpentry workbench the um the <laughs> the drying frame the uh what else drying frame i will uh, less talking the drying frame the beehive the yeah the few things where you you essentially need to to go on so well this road ah yeah it really leads to a storage i just was thinking of if i want to build the drying frame and a few other things i guess i need more ropes it's really crazy how many ropes you need as a crafter say oh yeah okay i may cheat ropes build a few ropes okay this this must be enough then you're crafting building and say oh damn out of ropes again <laughs> i have to calculate it how many ropes you need from nothing to steam hammer or something like that it's really incredible so um zombies are really an important resource because you can make um ropes from sheet ropes and you can make thin ropes from roads ropes and you can make thick ropes from ropes as everybody knows this is the entrance to lake lynn live however it is called yeah playing on the six month later pre-settings so this was all um, full of trees and I had to cut them all. That's why my uh, maintenance is not that bad. I see all the logs here. Um, yeah, it's really busy here. And uh, started to build a street. Curse, I needed a carpentry level six to do what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, I made the little <coughs> garden because, um, yeah, if you're playing, um, Sarah stops all the time and st I stop to play, so yeah, it uh, needs some time and um, I want to level farming as fast as possible. So the first cabbages are ready soon, and but I placed them um, every day, I placed a few more. So I think that this will lead me to level 7, I hope, or maybe more. Okay, I didn't want to stay in the house because of the small rooms and the many corners and uh, it's nothing for me. I need, I love big houses. Yeah, I found the two dog whistles already, but uh, not the dogs I wanted. So this is the house I've built. So I pl placed first thing, I placed um wooden floors and my first idea was just to make lock walls so this house will look like it would stand on lock walls so it would be i don't know how is it called in english and then i said okay and then i built the stairs next and built this wooden floor but it was not possible to to place the just the lock walls and um, so I had to make it, make this, um, make this first, and then place the lock wall. So this is not really the floor. This is just the the logs the house is standing on. This is the first real floor. I made some improvised kitchen with just a fridge and a few possibilities to cook. This fridge is empty already. The the other one is full of meat. It's my main food. I was heavy, uh, very underweight when I joined, but I'm um, 77 kilograms now, what is good weight, but I have to gain to level 8. Cat's eyes, dexterous baseball player, which gives me an incredible fast uh, base um, um, swing with baseballs. 
maybe with War Dogs 2 this will be interesting to find out. Graceful, inconspic inconspicuous, organized handy, which is a really very well thing for um, crafters because it gives you a uh, carpentry bonus, it gives you a um, bonus on blade and blunt maintenance. So if I want to work with war dogs in future, and if you want to wor uh, work, work with war dogs, work with war dogs, you need uh, blunt maintenance or it will not be very funny. <laughs> And uh, the other good fa thing is that because I'm a um, baseball player, I've got a bonus on uh, accuracy. So, um, war dogs are blunt, so I will have um, very soon blunt maintenance and blunt um, accuracy, which will increase um, the war dogs very fast, and that's important for my playing style. Okay, I'm been working on the next floor already a little bit but I'm out of small metal sheets um, I've got a few more left but um, before I continue welding I would like to read the metalwork intermediate book so I can level up metalworking a um, bit faster and then I started dismantling car wrecks again it's uh, the best source for metal is dismantling car wrecks. That's why I don't want to go looting all the time. So, okay, I made it to level two. Now I will read the um, intermediate books. So then I will weld the rest of the floors. So then I will go um, um, for small metal sheets again. It's my generator. Oh, okay. This is my gas storage. The other storages, so this is the, um, the library. Always sorting it um, on this side. I've got foraging, cooking, and farming. And this is uh, some more fishing and hunting and carpentry. Then I start with the more technical things like mechanics, um, metalworking, electric. And then I've got first aid and all the chemical books I need later for them making drugs <laughs> and uh, these are all the books I cannot bring into any any other box I uh, made a little mistake usual um, this box is what I've got here these are writing tools like pens pencils crayons empty books and the typewriter so I can make uh, labels yes that's my current status. Yeah, I've built a few traps too, but they're um, away from the base. Oh, I think they can harvest. Oh, yay. I could wait to let them be seed bearing ones. But I want to go to level one as soon as possible because maybe if I'm good and I think I'm not that bad. <laughs> Take care of the same. Um, once I'm on level uh, one farming, I will be theory, te theoretically able to build the gardening. No, I'm not able to build the gardening workbench. Okay, I just need level one um, farming, but I need the um, gardening apron, gardening farming. Where are you? Ah, that gardening thing. Workbench. I need the gardening apron. And uh, to make the gardening apron, I need, I think, about uh, 71 flags, and I haven't got that. What I want to try is um, to do a lot of mining before my foraging skill is too high. Because I think if you got a low foraging skill, you're getting a lot of. Um, boxes with trash and I will want to collect a lot of for them because you're getting um, car parts from it and having a lot of car parts will be good to um, get steel because later you need a lot of steel to build a steel hammer and so on and having um, a lot of car parts will make it easy to get a lot of steel and I've got the feeling that it's more easy to uh, mine borax if you've got a low foraging skill. And I want to prove that. So I'm 
cannot do foraging now. I have to build the mine first. And yeah, enough of talking. Um, I'm saying thank you very much. See you next time when I'm on this island. I want to go to this island. Oh, no, it's the other side of the, <laughs> the river. Okay. And um, when I'm will do crafting or when I will do some team play. Yes, that I repeat my invitation to play on my local server with me. It will be really nice to have one of my, I think, in between four or do I have five followers already? <laughs> one of my followers would um, say, yes, I'd like to join on my, your server and uh, oops, play with you a little bit. Just to, to test my server settings. Yes. Five five followers. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching and um, see you soon maybe on my own server. Bye.